Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have the High Grade Universal Century Gundam Ground Type. Now this suit comes from my favorite Gundam anime series, The Eighth Mess Team. Now the reason that's my favorite uh, anime series is because it was a very no pun intended, grounded anime uh, in terms of mecha. Uh, it wasn't that super robot stuff, it wasn't like lasers, you know, getting fired everywhere. Um, it, to me, it was just really about this lieutenant who's just trying to lead uh, his soldiers to go ahead and combat, um, you know, the uh, Zaku forces that were on the ground, um, just to try and turn the tide of the battle. Um, I think it was really awesome. Uh, I, to be honest, the lieutenant kind of got on my nerves because he, he just kept going towards this love interest of his and I'm like dude you're a lieutenant you're leading these guys and if you keep trying to you know go after this woman you're really going to sabotage the mission which I mean in certain times he did um but overall I think the story was amazing I think it was very good uh it was, it was a very short series of that it, it wasn't a 50 episode uh series I think it was about 12 episodes if, if I'm not mistaken uh, if I'm not mistaken um but the anime was amazing and I love the ground suits. I love the Easy 8. I really want to get me another, uh, well, I want to get a Easy 8. Um, I kind of touched the uh, the Master Grade and I really didn't like it, but uh, I haven't messed with the um, the High Grade at all, so I might go ahead and pick up the High Grade and just, like, you know, put that in my uh, my collection of 8th Mess Team kits. Um, but I like, this, I like the ground type. Uh, I used to have the um, Mobile Student Action figure back when like they used to be all in Toys R Us and Walmart. So I had I had that one, uh, and, I, and I had, I mean, I had this, not the EZ-8. Um, I remember just having the backpack, and I, and I was like, man, this is like so cool. I got this kid, this um, action figure, and best believe I was playing with it all the time. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So the front cover art I think looks fantastic. I love I love box arts um, that have like a kind of scene, you know, that that's being depicted. Not just like hey, it's the mobile suit and that's it. But there's something going on, you know. They're they're treading through the forest. Obviously, they defeated Izaku. This looks like it was uh, what the, the second or second or third episode. Um, so that's what that's what it looks like to me. Amazing. Love the front cover art. Now right here we do see front and rear shots of the mobile suit. Hey, and right here we do see all the actions and kind of like somewhat gimmicks or the different uh, features that it does have. So it does have the beam saber stored in the leg. And, you know, you can use this shield as kind of a um, kind of like a stand, so that way he can go ahead and keep stability for uh, his his uh, bazooka and well the cannon. And then he also has the articulated backpack and the uh, open hands, which I, I really really love. And over here, you're just gonna see all the different weapons and things that comes with it. So obviously, he comes with these beam sabers, he comes with the beam rifle, he comes with the machine gun, cannon, shield, and he's gonna come with some nice little markings, which I'm really excited to go ahead and put on there. And then the weapon container. And on the side, you just see a little nice uh, picture, uh, pretty much the ground type attacking the Zaku. And then you're gonna have information on the RX-79 uh, ground type as well. This kit retails for 1700 yen, which is roughly about $17. And it's number 210 in the Gundam uh, High Grade Universal Century line. And here's everything you could expect to come in the box. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the runners that are uh, from a different kit uh, and not originally to uh, the ground type. Now this is number 202 in the High Grade line. Uh, so I believe that is um, the Blue Destiny, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this is number 202, and you're just going to get uh, runner C1 and runner C2 right here. Next, we have A2. Now, this is going to be a, a brand new runner for this kit. Uh, so, it just looks like it's going to be waist parts, backpack, and uh, looks like it's going to be shoulder parts right here. Next is runner C, and obviously, this is going to be the backpack. And we have runner A, which is going to be a brand new runner as well. Uh, so, you're going to have weaponry right here. This looks like it's going to be the chest part. Uh, you got backpack, you got more chest parts right here. Well, actually, I don't know what this is. Oh, this might be the backpack yes yeah, so i think this is the parts of the backpack and you get more weapon stuff legs uh so a lot of different parts in this runner then you got b1 and b2 uh so b2 is going to be this little part right here and it's going to be parts of the lays weapons uh more lays right here you got shield um and let's say just arms hands uh face so pretty much everything is going to be on this runner as well that's going to be white and you get runner d which is just going to be uh eyes right there which is an all clear piece. Hey, little polycap sheet. 
beam sabers and not a bad little sticker sheet looks like it's gonna be a lot of uh, stickers that was used for uh, the blue destiny stuff as well and you get a little marking sheet of different numbers uh, so obviously uh, 08 is gonna be the uh, the numbers I'm gonna be using but I'll probably keep all these left over for uh, maybe some other kits in the future and lastly you do get the uh, manual right here so nothing you know different with this you're gonna have uh, some information right here just telling you telling you about uh, the different weaponry maybe the story right there uh, you get color instructions right here and then obviously uh, just your basic instructions inside here now on the back uh, I usually love the back parts because um, these have a little more uh, action poses go that's going on they show more weapons and stuff uh, stuff and it looks like this is maybe the same information that's going to be on the side of the book uh, but if not, then it's probably just some new information right there. And then you get a color guide down here, which tells you all the different colors that is going to be used for this mobile suit. But you can go ahead and do exactly what you want. So other than that, guys, uh, definitely I'm excited to go ahead and build this. Um, I don't really have a ground Gundam in my collection, so this would be the first one. And uh, basically, uh, be a nice high grade. So hopefully I get this done. Definitely not today, but probably tomorrow. But tomorrow I am going to Hiroshima. I'm going to go watch uh, Ready Player One in 4D. Do a little bit of shopping, and I should be back uh, early enough so that way I can go ahead and start working on this kit. Uh, hopefully I get done Saturday night, if not Sunday, and then I'll have the review out normally by Sunday afternoon my time. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, definitely rate, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications, and I'll be seeing you on the next review, which should be, if not tomorrow, then it'll be on Sunday. So I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.